Hello everyone, uh, this is Aizada and in this video I'd like to show you how you can create savings product. In order to create the savings product, you first need to go to the configuration section and find a, a tab called savings product. So then click savings product and so you see here the list of savings product which were created before. To create a new one, just go and click on the create button and then specify the following details. So here in uh, the field called name, you need to specify the savings product name. Let's say that the savings products is for students and the name will be savings, uh, student savings account. Then here in code, we need to specify a short unique code for designation this new product. For example, it can contain capital letters of the product and number. Let's say it's SSSA001. Here in availability, you need to specify for what, which type of customer the saving product is. So let's say it's for individual customers, for our students. And here in currency, you need to specify the currency in which the savings account uh, needs to be open. Let's say it's in USD. Here in uh, the field called initial amount, we need to uh, set minimum and maximum values. Let's say uh, the amount, uh, it should be minimum uh, 1000 and maximum uh, 100,000. So here in interest rate, we need to uh, set minimum and maximum values. Let's say it's uh, the interest rate for this saving product will be between 1% and 3% uh, depending on the amount. And minimum balance the customer should have, let's say, is uh, 1000. Here in inter interest accrual frequency, you need to choose the uh, frequency, which can be daily, uh, monthly, or yearly. Let's say it's daily. And here in posting frequency, you need to specify uh, how uh, often uh, the system should post the interest. So let's say it's at, at, the, end of, at the end of each month. So you can uh, choose uh, capitalized interest. If uh, when you choose capitalized interest, the uh, accrued interest will be uh, will be added to the uh, amount of the savings. Uh, if not, uh, the accrued interest will go to the uh, current account according to post and frequency. Let's uh, let's let's keep it now. And here in our saving account, we need to specify accounts uh, uh, according to our uh, configured chart of accounts. So. Let me specify the account. Uh, let's say here we, it's the account is savings. Here in interest account is savings uh, interest. Interest expense account is interest expense on savings. Inter okay. You can type uh, the name of the account here and the system will uh, search it. Interest expense, expenses on savings. Sorry, uh, expense on savings. Then uh, in the next section called cash with deposit parameters, you can specify how much cash the, the customers can deposit into their account, uh, into their savings account. Let's say that they can deposit um, between one thousand and fifty thousand at once. And if there are any fees, you can specify them. Let's say um, deposit fee up to 1%, uh, deposit fee flat, it means that you can specify the deposit amount, let's say it's uh, up to 100, and again, you can uh, you need to specify the uh, accounts here, deposit fee account, uh, let's say it's uh, deposit withdrawals fee, and the same for here. It's the same for here, deposit withdrawals fee. Okay, and the next uh, section is for cash withdrawals. So here you need to specify how much cash that your customers can withdraw from their current from their savings account. So let's say they can withdraw between uh, one thousand and ten thousand. And if there are any fees, uh, you can specify them. Let me let's say that there is uh, no fee for withdrawal. 
uh, I can put zero if there is no fee. Then, uh, so here again, we need to specify the withdrawal fee account and withdrawal fee income account. Okay. Let's say it's the same account, deposit, withdrawal fees, deposit withdrawal fees. Okay, and if there are any management fees, you can also set minimum and maximum values for, for that. So, okay, let's put zero, let's put here one, let's put uh, zero and up to 100. And you can see management fees frequency. Let's say at the end of each month, you charge management fees. And management fees, here we need to specify the account. So, let's say you have a different account called management fee and the same for interest income account management fee entry fees uh, you if there are any entry fees you can specify uh, how much it should be let's say up to one percent and uh, the amount let's say up to 100 and again, specify the entry fees. So entry fee, entry fee, close fees. And if you charge any fees uh, when your customers close their account, you can also specify them. Let's say close, you don't have any close fees and we can put zero here. So the account should be closed fees. Okay, so here you have to specify every field and once you have done it, you can click save. Yes, now you see it has been successfully saved. It's the student Sorry, I clicked it twice. Uh, so uh, once you have done it, you see this uh, uh, product appears here in the list. And uh, if you need to change any parameters, if you need to change any details, any terms, you can just click on it and uh, click edit. And you see uh, that you can change some, uh, some parameters here. Let me just put to edit, add some additional uh, numbers. And once you have made change, you can click save. Okay, so in this video, we have created a saving product. And also you've seen how you can uh, change the existing savings product. And I'd like to thank you for your attention and uh, hope to see you in, in another video.